Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the finale for the Serial Killing 13 Halloween project that I was doing with the Fantastic Ladies. I'll link everybody who was in this collab in the description box down below. Just want to clarify some things. First of all, I'm really sorry that this is late. I know a ton of my videos have been late this month. What happened was I filmed all the videos that I needed and then realised like a week too late that I'd already filmed them and I'd not edited them or uploaded them or anything and then I went into panic mode and basically I've been trying to play catch up since then. So I'm sorry that this is late and I'm hoping that next month I will have finished catching up and we can go back to the regular normal scheduled system that I had going. It was going so well and then just one time I forgot to edit and it, it's absolute chaos is happening. The second thing that I want to discuss is if you hear random banging, it's not explosions or anything, it's just fireworks because it is Guy Fawkes Night here in the UK and if you don't know about that I'll link some history in the description box down below. Basically it was to do with Guy Fawkes, he wanted to blow up the Houses of Parliament and he failed and we kind of remember that day as kind of like a warning so we do all various things. Anyway, check out the link of the history if you're interested in learning about that. I should have said sorry, there's three things. The third thing is, this isn't my best project. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I struggled all the way through this project to get things done and it's, it partly is my own fault for picking things that would take a long time to finish in such a short project. I didn't realize that until like three quarters of the way through and then I thought I'm not gonna finish anything. So I did finish some things, but just so you know, a lot of this stuff I'll be saying, this isn't finished, this isn't finished, this isn't finished. I understand if you're disappointed in me, I'm kind of disappointed in myself, but I think I've kind of made up for it with progress in other projects. My Christmas one especially is doing so well, so I kind of feel better about that. So the idea of this project was we would pick things that were related to or reminded us of fictional serial killers so and we had to pick 13 to follow the finished 13 by halloween that already existed so i'm going to go through things one by one and tell you what i finished what i didn't finish that kind of a thing so the first one was the urban decay eyeshadow in bones and the reason i picked that was from uh, the movie the bone collector and that was in the vice 4 and i have actually hit pan which was my goal to hit pan and it's just this one here. So I'm really pleased that I managed to hit pan on that. That was one item that I did manage to get done. The next item was the James Reed Gradual Tan. And I picked that because James Reed, spelt slightly differently, is the director or producer or something involved with American Horror Story. So I did get some use out of this. I don't know if you can see that the light's kind of too light. But I started about here. And then I got down to here. So I did get some use, but to be honest, I'm not sure why I put a tan in a full project. Not sure, but there we go. That's that one. The next item was the Avon Planet Spa Body Souffle in uh, Chocolate Truffle. And I picked that for the movie Seven. Seven is based around the Seven Deadly Sins and Glutton Chocolate kind of went together so I picked that. As you can see I didn't finish that either but I did get some use out of it. I didn't expect to finish it all up completely to be honest but I'm glad that I did manage to get some use out of it. The next item was the W7 Pumpkin Pie Lipstick and that is where I'm finishing on that one and I'll show you on the paper. This has been in numerous weekly makeup baskets and I didn't use it. What? I kind of did. So I wanted to get the point down, but as you can see I didn't manage to do that. But if the point wasn't there then you'd be able to see a lot more progress on it. So the next thing was a series of masks and they were just cheap masks and it would represent any kind of serial killer that wore a mask. I finished up two out of three and I do have one remaining and it was this one. This is the By Nature from New Zealand nourishing face mask. To be honest, the only reason I didn't use this is just pure laziness. I didn't do any masking this month at all and yeah. Uh, the next item was the sleek eyeshadow in E10 and the reason I picked this is because E10 is a borough in London and Jack the Ripper 
was in London. And I know Jack the Ripper isn't fictional, but the film From Hell was based around him. So f the From Hell version of him played by Johnny Depp is fictional. So, And that was this eyeshadow here. And I wanted to hit pan. As you can see, I didn't do that, but I did get some use out of it. Um, like most of the things in here, you will see use on things, but it's just I didn't finish it up. So The next item was for the Joker from Batman, and it's in the Too Faced Chocolate Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. And I picked this shade here in Puddin, because Puddin is the nickname that Harley Quinn gives to Joker. And I wanted to hit pan, and as you can see, there's a teeny tiny little bit of pan. Really, really happy that I managed to do that. This eyeshadow is brand new at the start of this project. I'm so happy. This is like the happiest thing out of this whole entire project. The next item was the nail polish from Models Own in Midsummer Morve. And that I, I picked that one because there's a TV show in the UK called Midsummer Murders. And it's kind of your typical daytime TV show. So it's like super cheesy, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, and I got some really, really good use out of this. I got like... I started, uh, this was brand new when I started, so it started under the cap, and that was my first update, and that is now. So I got a ton of progress done on this one. I'm really happy about this. Something I didn't do any progress on was the Avon Magic Effects Molten Metal in Blue Steel. And the reason I picked this was because Blue Steel is kind of like a steel knife, that kind of a thing, and that it could work for any crime that was done with a knife. So. The next item was a perfume, which I don't have because I finished it. It went in my empties, and that was the Avon uh, Little, Black, Little Black Dress Perfume. And that was for the film Perfume, and it's basically about a guy who makes perfume. The next item was the Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Suspect, and I wanted to hit pan on this as well, but I didn't get to do that either, but I do have a massive dip in that. I could hit day, hit pan any day. The next item was the Nude Stick Slip and Cheek Pencil in Satan. And the reason I picked this was because from the film I Saw the Devil. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you on the paper that I did get some progress, but not a lot. I'm really sorry for the fireworks. And the last item then was the NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic. And I picked this for the film Frailty, which is all to do with rituals and that sort of thing. And as you can see, I didn't hit pan on this one either, but I do have the dip that's just by there. I'm not sure if you can see that all that well, because again, the light's like working too well and I can't see shadows on anything. But that's all the items that were in this. As I said, I'm not too disappointed that I didn't finish up a ton of stuff because I've made it up with other projects. So I'm kind of glad this one's over. Not that I didn't enjoy the project. I'm so glad that I was invited to do this project. I'm glad it's over in the sense that I can now focus down on the ones that I am making progress on rather than having in the back of my mind, I'm not finishing anything from the Halloween, I need to focus on that. Like, it's like a reset kind of thing. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I'm really sorry about the fireworks. Like I said, it's unavoidable at this point. There's somebody across the street who's setting them off in their back garden, so that's probably the loudest ones that you'll be hearing. But I went outside to see what was happening and to take some photos for you guys, which came out appallingly, by the way. I'm not... Uh, I might put one or two at the end of this video so that you can see them, but like they came out really, really badly just because one, I, it was cold and two, I was on my iPhone and, and three, I'm not a photographer. But yeah, I went outside and you, you can hear it literally rumbling from sh streets away, like miles away. You can hear the rumbling from other people setting them off. It's kind of crazy out there tonight and it is a little bit cold, so I'm glad I'm indoors talking to you guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.